Oh, what a morning. Just stopped for a drink here. What was supposed to be a nice leisurely ride wasn't. Let's get back on the bike and tell you all about it. Right, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. My name's Jay, welcome to the channel. So, ordinarily I'd have only been out for about probably 10, 15 minutes now getting over to this side, but what happened was the strines, which the road I regularly go over, was absolutely chocked and blocked with roadworks from one end to the other. The main purpose of coming out today was to just check the car pride with the Kalimoto app. I've not really used the Kalimoto app to have any kind of navigation and I know I'm a bit late to the party with the Kalimoto and the car pride but the car pride keeps cutting out which is nothing to do with Kalimoto it appears to be doing it on uh, all the other apps as well so I don't know what what the issue is with that I did put the um, Cardo edge on turn that on to get the um, the instruction through there but it seemed to have just sent it bananas when I did that so I've turned that off now I did turn the bike on, just been in the garage to get some uh, some water, did turn the bike on and started riding and it still didn't come on so I've just done it again now and it appears to be okay. So the main purpose is to just see what uh, what Kalimoto throws up and what it's like to use with the car per ride, providing it doesn't turn off. So that's going to be part of just my little test today which it's on anyway. I'm heading over to Wetton Mill, I've put twisty roads on so I hope it's going to flag some great roads up for me as well yeah coming over the strines they'd blocked all the road off and then there was a diversion sign to take you off the strines just on the Stocksbridge, Stocksbridge side on the other side it was completely blocked off but there were no diversion um, signs nothing at all whatsoever so I went through what I thought was a cut through which brings you right to the end of the strines but that was closed as well um, there was actually a bike behind me and I said to him just follow me I'll take you to that bit we got to that end and it was blocked so I went over to talk to the guys who was doing the roads and stuff then I eventually spoke to the supervisor who just said no there's diversion signs in place and I said yeah but we, we didn't see it mate there's nothing there can we just scoot through on a bike he said no initially I can completely 100% get that and I'm just seeing now if this road's closed here which it still is that's road's been closed forever about so he said it's going to be half an hour I was talking to the other biker I didn't have the cameras on at the time which was a shame but um, when I was sat on the bike we must have been there for probably five minutes talking and then this uh, he just shouted over it's over and said you two on the bikes come on let us through just says take your time through it was literally 200 yards there were no dangers all the hazards had been moved to the other side so uh, top top man for doing that when I was there actually speaking to him initially, this other guy came over because there was quite a few cars and that that followed us, but I think they've just gone that way because there's no signs, no signs which they protested that there was. Um, and you find that quite a bit, don't you? Because the first, I, I thought it were wrong actually, because when I was coming down, the main drag work diverted me off first, we came up to a crossroads, but there were nothing, nothing to tell me whichever way to go. So you just assume straight on, wouldn't you? Um, so which I did which is what I did but there were nothing further down either so it was just it was just crazy um, but this yeah this guy came when I was talking I was really nice to this supervisor just as oh, fair enough mate. I understand you've got a job to do shook his hand blah 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 this other guy came over this big uh, I don't know if it was a lorry driver van driver looked like he was a motorway maintenance crew let's say all in yellow or he could have been working for the railway or maybe just like dressing like that and he just started getting nazi with this uh, with this this guy. He wasn't sort of particularly you know swearing or anything like that, but he was just like raising his voice and telling him there were no diverted signs and stuff like that. And he was just losing himself. And I just thought, no, there's no need to be like that. And obviously it paid off because after about ten minutes, he let us through. So I just need to get away from this traffic. I'm hoping that the Kalimoto is going to do a job at. Uh, oh, what's it doing here? Oh no. I should have followed that actually. It is wanting me to go. Let me go first, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, with it being Kalimoto, it's, it's funny because I know this way and I didn't want that road there on the left to take me back onto the road that were closed. That's why I've stayed away from it. Ordinarily, I would have done that. I would have gone up there and seen where it took me. 
so yeah that was my morning and I must have been you know must have took about an hour and a half to get over there and uh, figure it all out but it was wanting us to go all the way back and down into Sheffield that would have just been an absolute nightmare and the funny thing was I don't live far from Flouch Island and um, I was going to which is the foot of Woodhead from the home Firthy side and I was just going to go that way and then I thought no I'll go over the strands because it's a bit it's a bit quicker uh, I wasn't going to put the cameras on anyway because you've been across there so many times but I wish I had now because it was a bit of an experience to be honest so yeah we are going down over to Wet and Mill as I said earlier but we're just going to follow the Kalimoto so I'm hoping that when I get the next left turn should be the one up through Castleton um, but I just want to see what roads it throws up because it does throw some decent roads up that I don't really recognise and it does look like it is just going to send me up towards Castleton because I think there's only one other road now to the left up here through Castleton that you can get up onto the top so I could take that one but uh, yeah let's just follow this and see where it takes me feel like one of them cod in parsley sauce at the minute boiling the bag I have got my vented jacket on but I'm absolutely roasting such a beautiful day 27 degrees it's got to be done sometimes I think I'm being a little bit of a dick when I do that but I just can't boil here and I can't be doing with faffers either faffing around so I just get up the hill. Perfect. So this is, takes you over to Edale, I'm uh, a bit confused at the minute why it's taking me up here to go to Wet and Mill, maybe it's put, taking me on some fantastic roads, I don't know, but I would have thought I'd have gone up the other way, so we're climbing up towards Mam Tor now. You know, coming over here though is absolutely stunning. It doesn't matter what the weather's like either. You can see why it attracts a lot of people. I don't know what this is trying to do. Shit. I think it's because I didn't follow the initial route. It's trying to get me back on route. Which is going to take me over to that road that was closed, I believe. Uh, I don't know if Kalimoto's live, I would have thought it would be with having to pay a subscription but um, you would have thought it recognised that that road were closed so this, at the end of this road it takes you back on to the, uh, the road I've just come up through, Hope so this takes you down to Edale, I think um, I think Jacob's Ladder, what they call Jacob's Ladder is down here somewhere, if you walk over, you get to the bottom, you turn off left and then you walk, there's quite a bit of a walk over to it. I don't think I, I'm obviously not really understanding it, am I? Because if I'm going on, well I, the thing is I did a direct route, I didn't do um, a return route if you like, or a loop. So I don't know what he's doing here. I think this happened uh, when I went to Scotland. I think we had the Kalimoto on at Scotland. And we did this massive big loop round and it actually took us back to where we started off. I have paid for the yearly subscription but never really used it before. It's more about how it works with the Carpure Ride. So I know the Carpure Ride is not causing it to do this because obviously it just mirrors what's on your phone. So, um, But I am a bit interested to find out why it's doing that when it was just from one point to the other. Ooh, hello. 
so he's telling me to turn left again here guaranteed it's going to take me down to the paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty <laughs> I think it's trying to turn me up there again. So what? what's the point of that? I just don't understand it, why it's doing that. So there you go look, lost connection straight away, ridiculous, don't know why it does that. So yeah, that, that was saying my operating system had closed Kalimoto, well, why would it do that? Uh, it's running in my pocket but when it's on Apple Play I thought it's transferring everything over to that so it's not really running in your pocket if that makes sense. So yeah, I don't know what's going off there, so I'm going to turn right up here, which I think is where it wanted me to go anyway. don't think there's any other right turn up here. And then I'm going to reset it, see what we can do with it. Don't tell me this road's closed as well. Right. Up here is where we need to be now. It's just like, what's going off with all the roads? It's just like destined for me not to get a cup of tea, isn't it? I have been up this road before. I think if you, I think it eventually brings you to Eam. If it does, I might drop down into Eam and just get some chips from the... Uh... Oh, there's the Yonderman in there, I suppose. I could go to the Yonderman instead of Wet and Mill. But what a day this has turned out to be. So Kalimoto, my first real experience of it is shocking. Yeah, so Kalimoto, I just, I don't know. My experience with that is just, I've had a couple of experiences, you know, with other people using it. And it just seems a little bit, I don't know, temperamental. Or is there something I'm doing wrong? I don't know. The fact that the carpool ride has cut me off Kalimoto is nothing to do with Kalimoto that is purely a carpool ride thing which has happened many times before don't get me wrong it's still a great system and it's like Kalimoto is still a great system as well like I say this video is nothing to do with how the Kalimoto connects with the carpool ride because carpool ride has been causing a, a few issues by disconnecting it's purely how it is on the Corpio ride as a screen it's perfect you can you could see it was really good uh, for some reason the operating system has closed down I don't know if that's because I was just defying it and just kept going against what it was trying to tell me I don't know but I'm gonna try and put it on again in a minute but time is kicking on and I haven't really got a lot of time left so oh my word we're I've just got this funny feeling I'm gonna get to the end of this road and it's just going to say dead end <laughs> which it didn't say on that board to be fair but it just did say uh, access only didn't it so i don't know if you were coming to derbyshire this is what you've got to look forward to just roads like this it's just beautiful you've just got to try and stay clear though of the the busy areas like your castletons and stuff but there's plenty of off-roads you can do that's if you're on your bike i don't know where to go actually i'm just going to look on the map and see where wet and mill is 
if it is quite far i'm going to then try matlock uh, not matlock bath but just somewhere over that way or i might even just go down to the yonderman in fact i'm just going to go to yonderman yonderman is not far from here now just try all these roads just go off but kalimoto i'm just a little bit i don't know i think it's probably just me that can't do it properly but uh let me know your experiences because i have subscribed to it hoping that i was going to get some fantastic ride but it does look like you, if you're doing a, a loop you have to, it's just going to keep re redirecting you and a simple A to B, it looks like it's going to keep redirecting you too. Again, is it something I'm doing or not doing? I don't know, I doubt it. It should just connect, shouldn't it? So it's saying that the Bluetooth's working, but it's just not found my phone for some reason. And that screen just annoys me, so I'm going to have to put me, uh, me other screen on. But you imagine if I was going somewhere and this is what had happened, you see. So I'm, I'm glad I've sort of kept my sat nav and uh, Peak is giving me that adapter so I can just swap them out as easy as you know as easy as that so I'm absolutely sweating my rocks off so I think we're gonna head back home but yeah the day has been a bad day but a good day if that makes sense so everything that could go wrong when even th even little things I know this sounds stupid but even little things do you find that well let me just retract so when you have a bad day or bad things happen, and I don't mean really bad things, I mean the thing like with the roadworks this morning, with the Kalamoto, um, with the Carpure ride not working, you know, things like that. Oh, and another road that looked like it was closed as well and I couldn't go up that. I think that was off camera, I can't remember. But uh, even little things, it, it's like everything seems to go wrong. But remember guys, it doesn't matter who you are, what you ride or where you're from because every day is definitely an adventure crazy out